it's really early. Right now it's 5 a.m. and uh, we're waking up at this ungodly hour to go catch the sunrise uh, somewhere pretty special where every year thousands, tens, hundreds of thousands of migratory birds stop by on their journey. So it's my third time going there, I think, hoping to get some good conditions and uh, some, some birds to photograph. So what we're going to do today is go hopefully see the snow geese, which migrate for thousands of kilometers every single year from the Antarctic down to the coast of, of the United States. The first time I went, it was really, really impressive. I think there was, there must have been 50,000 birds or something like that. I don't, I don't even know. It was, it was wild. I'll try to show some footage of that very first time I went, if, if I can find some. We've got about an hour and a half drive. We're going to get there exactly at sunrise, which I'm a little bit stressed out about because you always want to give yourself a little bit of extra time to, um, to just set up and not stress that the conditions are, are ideal and right when you get there. But that's what we've got to work with. So sit tight and we've got a bit of a drive ahead of us. So we've arrived. It's happening. The birds are here, and it's it's really amazing. Um, the field is really, really full of birds, and there have been many, many birds flying over. I'm trying to trying to not not get overwhelmed and uh, and get some video, get some photos at the same time, and manage everything. So it's a good experience. So on this trip, I was also with my brother and our good friend Jean-Marie, who you'll see in a few clips later. Uh, what I also wanted to accomplish on this trip was to test out a new lens, the Panasonic 100 to 400 millimeter. Keep in mind, this is micro four thirds on my Olympus EM1 Mark II body. I found the lens to be great overall. However, the stabilization wasn't very reliable. Still very cool to be able to handhold uh, basically an 800 millimeter equivalent in full frame. So it was a good experience overall.
How is it? That's very nice, huh? Yeah, cool. Good conditions. We're the closest we've ever been to them. Close? Yeah, they're usually further away in the fields from us. Not a lot of snow. Yeah. More water than anything. <laughs> It's a heavy lens, man. That is not micro four thirds. That is full frame and what then lens some. What is that? Sigma 150 to 600, full frame. Sport version? On a D800. That's, that's a big setup. Here, let me show you the difference. Full frame, micro four thirds. quite the difference in size and I can tell you that quite the difference in weight big time you can see how close they are in some places to the road extremely close Just pulled over to the side of the road real quick. We decided to just stop and park them up this little hill in the field. Why not? spotted a beautiful eagle it's really far away but I saw its white head between the trees and I'm able to get a really good look at it I'll make sure to put that put that up on the screen but I think I got some good sh good photos and uh, and uh, and video of it right now it's just hard to focus because it's between branches so autofocus on the camera tends to focus more on the branches and so I switch it over to manual magnified hopefully it looks decently sharp but very cool
okay, we're on the way back home. That was a good morning. It's it's noon, so I think we got a lot done. The sunrise was amazing. I got some really really awesome shots with uh, with birds flying right in front of the sun. So I'm really looking forward to editing those. Um, I was able to get the drone up too, which which was great. Only used up one drone battery on my uh, Mavic Mini 2. So when you use when you only use up one drone battery in the day, you know you didn't you didn't fly it that much. But I feel like I made the most of the you know 15 20 minutes that I did fly the drone, and I captured some cool uh, cool clips. That's it for today. I'm gonna drive back home. I hope this was fun to watch. I had a lot of fun making it once again, and I had a lot of fun being out and and shooting. So if you did like the video, give me a thumbs up. Put some comments down below on, on what you thought or some suggestions for me to on things to work on, to improve on, or activities to do next time. And I'll be happy to continue on, uh, on my journey to improve as a, as a vlogger, videographer, photographer, and also really to document all these memories and experiences. So like my video, give me a few comments and subscribe to the channel, which would be awesome. Until next time, take care.